Airbnb investments in Orlando, making money for vac from vacation rentals. Let's talk about that. My name is Sandy Sills. I'm a licensed realtor here in the Central Florida area. I specialize in Airbnb investment properties. I own and operate a few myself, and I also do pro property management for a few of them. So let's talk about Airbnb in Central Florida. Central Florida, the attraction is the parks, right? Disney World, Universal Studios, and SeaWorld, right? And despite of all the controversy going on in 2022 with Disney World, people are still coming, traveling here to get to the parks. So it's so a great idea to have a Airbnb property here or a short-term rental property here because guess what? The hotels, we don't have enough hotels to accommodate all, all these people, believe it or not. And I know a lot of people tell me, well, there's so many Airbnb, there's so many short-term rental properties here. There's a lot, but only a few locations are zoned that way. So it makes it kind of limited. And if you do the correct thing and you're operating your Airbnb successfully, you'll have no problem. I promise you that. So people are coming to do short-term rental or to do an Airbnb, and they're not necessarily all going to the parks. Some people are coming for a month or two because they're relocating to the area, and they want to find something they could stay in until they kind of figure out where they want to live. Maybe they're buying a new construction home and it's not ready yet, and they need a few months to live somewhere. Maybe they're coming here to work for a month or two. There's a lot of transitional workers in this area. So we have the whole park aspect, and then we have people come in to rent for other reasons, right? So whichever the reason is, you want to make sure you're a part of that. So one of the rule of thumb is you want to have a property not more than 30 minutes away from Disney World. So that way you're kind of like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes. So you're kind of catering to the parks, but you're also catering to people that, not that are still wanting to rent, but not necessarily want to go to the park. Then you got to figure out how oh, you want to position your property. Do you want to make it a Disney theme? Do you want to make it neutral? Do you want to do a combination of both? Okay, so that's going to be super important. Also, you got to decide, do you want to self-manage or do you want to do a property management company, right? You're totally open to that. Automation is going to be super important. Get your property automated. What do I mean by that? By having a lot of smart things in the home, like smart locks or smart thermostat. Um, a smart pool control system that you could control your pool from an app on your phone. Those things are going to be super important because then you're able to see what's going on and also cameras obviously, but then you'll be able to see what's going on and automate what's going on. Also, you want to have different, um, how to term this, different languages that you could, that you could, different rules that you could set up on your air conditioning system. One of the rules are, is going to be if the if the any exterior door is open for more than five eight five minutes, I want the AC to be sh sh turned off, and I don't want the AC to come back on until all these doors are closed, all the exterior doors are closed. That's going to be super important on your electric bill, right? Another thing is um, if you're gonna if you're gonna do a pool area, if you have a pool, you know, if you have a pool home, if it's a pool home, you want to have a pool home. Do you want to have just a pool, or do you want to have a pool and a spa? Right? Some people, believe it or not, Central Florida, people are looking for spas and hot tubs for whatever reason. I know I get a lot of kickback with, but Sandy, Florida is so hot. You'd be surprised. Central Florida is not as hot as Miami or Fort Lauderdale. So there's a certain time of the year, like December, January, February, where, where during the evening time, it gets warmer right it gets it gets colder i'm sorry it gets kind of chilly so people want that hot tub experience and you want to know you want to make sure that you're giving them that so what i normally tell my clients is this if you have a pool home and you don't have a spa you could buy a separate hot tub so you'll have a hot tub in the pool area and you'll also have a pool if you have a town home with a pool and there's no hot tub or spa you could also buy a hot tub and use it with the pool so there's a lot of things that you could do to get that spa thing going on you know going with it and making money how are you going to make money so you're going to make money by wooing your guests right you want to offer things that your competitor is not offering your guests what is that well are you offering coffee tea snacks wine if they have a certain celebration are you leaving something for them for that celebration maybe it's a birthday maybe you could leave a birthday cake or a bouquet of flowers or it depends upon whose birthday it is if it's for a kid maybe you could leave something that's um 
kid friendly, like maybe a, a, whoever their favorite character is at Disney, this, this you could get from the parent, right? So if they say, hey, I'm coming to go to Disney World, I would like to, love to rent your home, my five-year-old is celebrating their birthday. You could say, oh, that's so awesome and wonderful. What um what character do they like? What Disney? What's their favorite Disney character? That kind of thing, and maybe leave that character there for that child. Just leave it on their bed or the bed you think they'll sleep in, one of the twin beds, right? So these are some of the things that you're gonna owe your guests. It's, this is what you have to understand. To make money in Orlando on Airbnb, you have to be in the mind of Disney World. Because you're coming to Disney, they're gonna get a Disney experience. Disney is magical. Disney is fun, right? So they expect the Disney experience from you as well. So you have to be an extension of Disney, right? Even if they're coming to do, especially if they're coming to go to the parks. So that's gonna be super important. So you wanna wore them. So the thing is too, when you wore them and they're, and they're coming in, like when they first check in and you wore them with that, if anything comes up during their vacation stay, they may be a, they, they're not gonna be as aggressive, they're gonna be a little bit more mellow, right? So let's say you wore them and they came in and then they call you and said, hey, the, the pool isn't eating up or whatever it is that they tell you, they're not gonna come with, hey, I rented this house, I paid a lot of money, and now the pool isn't working. They're not gonna come with that approach because you wore them so much when they first check in, and that's what you wanna do because things are not perfect. Nothing is perfect, nobody's perfect. Things are gonna happen, right? So that's what you wanna do. So we offer a lot of consultations to our clients before they even spend a penny in the Orlando area. So if you're looking just to speak to, to someone on a complimentary consultation regarding Airbnb and investing in the Orlando area, feel free to give us a call or send us a text at 407-791-4713. We could do a regular phone call, we could do a Zoom call. We, we prefer the Zoom calls because then we get to show you different Airbnb properties and how we work with them and that kind of thing. If you're really interested in investing in the, in the Central Florida area, I know it's a great time. I know the market is crazy, guys. The market is indeed crazy. But one of the, next, one of the thing that we do is we try to find off-market Airbnb properties. Because in order for you to do Airbnb in our area, it has to be zoned that way. When you go into a community, you want to make sure that that community allows for short-term rental. Otherwise, you will not be able to do short-term rental in that community. And that's going to be super important as well. And we know all the communities that are zoned that way and the ones that are not. We also know the, know the top communities that makes more money for you and the ones that may not make as much money for you. We also know what amenities the guests like and what they prefer in their experience. That's going to be super important. So I invite you to give us a call or send us a text 407-791-4713. Feel free to pick our brains. We're very, very experienced in this sector and we will be able to get you on your way to making lots and lots of money from vacation rentals. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next video.